Okay, this is for uh, my own teammates, but I thought I would share it also in the main group. Uh, as you can see, I'm actually sharing it as a different profile than my normal profile because it's still not letting me get into uh, the groups with my regular profile. But anyway, I wanted to share with you real quick. Uh, Ronnie in particular was asking me how to go ahead and get all of the funnels that are already created in PLS. And so I am going to share exactly step by step what you want to do so that you will be able to find it and get started with it. So the very first thing is you hopefully are in the Freedom Uprising VIP group and you want to go to the files. This is uh, the very first step. And if you come down here where it says Franco share code inside a power lead system, that's the one you want. And as you can see, it's uh, Franco's got a code, but there's uh, several other of us, one, two, three, four, five, six of us so far that have been sharing our uh, our funnels with uh, each other. And you only have to do this once. So if I didn't have this code already, and this is the first one, and it's Franco's, and all of the stuff that he's put in here, all you have to do is come over here to the websites. Uh, and this is inside a power lead system after you get started. And then you go to my, under websites, web pages, and then my share codes. And then you, uh, you would go in here and you would share right here. Now I already have it, so it's not going to add it again. But when you have completed doing this with however many of those you want to grab, and you can do it with all of them, then you're going to see Franco in here, which that is it right here. Then the next thing you're going to want to do after you've done that is to go over here again to websites and then web pages and then my web pages. And when you do, you won't see all this stuff here yet, but you're going to see shared web pages down here. And everything that Franco has done has his name on it somewhere. Generally, he tries to put his name in it so it's real easy for you to figure out which one he has done. So uh, if you wanted the PLS, uh, there are several that are really good. He created one for, you know, it all depends on which one you want to see. Uh, so all of, pretty much all of these right here are uh, PLS capture pages that he created. That's not the only ones, but they're part of them. And the easiest way to find out which one you want to use is to click the test link and go look at it first. And it's going to show it to you. And the reason why it went immediately to this page is I already have it. And so I don't have to recreate it again. And so this is what this one looks like. And you can just keep on going down if you want to and test all of these different ones. And this is not a capture page. As you can see, it is a, a, a page two. And then uh, if you want to go and look at some of the other things, all you have to do again is just click the test button. And when you do that, it'll let you have a, 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 a temporary link. And then you can just choose which one you like and go with it. The next thing you do after you make a decision which one you like and say I, I, do, I really like this one. I don't have it yet. So you would go and copy. Not assign, copy. So when you copy it's going to bring you to this page and it's going to give you the opportunity to make any changes that you want to. And for me I prefer not to have copy of. I'll just go ahead and do that. It's going to show up on my list. And the major thing now here is are you going to, you've got to send it to your own page. This is how you make it look like the first one I clicked, which was this one right here. And the reason why that one immediately went to a link is because I gave it a name, a subdomain name. And you probably already have, uh, you have to have created at least one domain name and I'm assuming that you already did this. So I'm going to put in here, this is Deadbeat because that's what it was called. And so I'm going to call it Deadbeat. And then the next thing coming down here is that you have a choice of where you want to send it. Um, 
it's telling us that it's going to send it to the uh, the new video page but you want it to go to the pages that uh, you have already uh, this one is it's got to have your name on it so one thing you can do actually before you go ahead and do it is uh, you can you can click on it and check it but I happen to know I'm pretty sure that this is the one that that is right there and so I'm going to click on that one and make sure but I'm pretty sure that is the one that I want it to go to oh that's that's that one to go there but uh, what we want it to do is to go to one that you've already created and it's telling me it's going to go to this one and we can actually view that before we make a decision by just clicking this link right over here and it's going to show you what the page is that it's going to go to. You're about to discover. And uh, this is the one that I think that Franco created earlier. Uh, the thing is, though, is that it ha it will go to your links if you're, but it, uh, there's no guarantee. So it's a good idea to have the page that you've already created, so you're already prepared. And all you have to do is is go and click on one of those other pages that he's created which are the second pages and decide by that or you can put your own outside page in here for instance my in front of them so let's see if I can find it and there's a lot of stuff in here So say you wanted it to say I wanted it to go to one of my coaching pages because this is just a demo. This is my own page, so I'm going to take it to my own coaching page. So that's how you do that. Or you could have an outside page of any kind in here. It's important that you made sure that your page actually has your own links in it before you say it. And then all you have to do is save it. Now it's going to be all set up. And another thing you can do when you come back here is, see it's right here, is you can edit it again and make sure it gives you the option of sending emails, which uh, it has it in here as that. But I've already cre uh, created uh, my own on that. Pretty sure I have. So this one is a different one than the, the ones. Yeah, my copy of. So maybe I want to send it to the Freedom Booklet. Or maybe I want to send it to my PLS Opportunity Campaign. Or, you know, it, 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 see, everybody in here has created their own link or they've already done it. And what these emails are is they have been uh, created and then you can edit them. So let me show you the last step before you actually finish this. And I'm going to go ahead and create a second tab without getting out of this page. And that is that you want to come over here to your emails. And you want to go to the view and edit, not add. And then you want to find the PLS system one that uh, it's talking about. And make sure that your links are going to be correct. And it's probably in alphabetical order. And this is the one I want it to go to right here. I've already done this, but I'm going to just go and get it open just so you can see it. PLS, new people on the list, 18 messages. And I, it's one that I've worked on already so that I know that it's going to have my links in it and anything else I want to make it personalized by me. And one of the things I, of course, did is I made sure my name was in the uh, startup. This is something Franco actually suggests. I make sure all of these lo these links here go to me because when somebody else creates them, they're obviously not going to go to you. So you want to make sure that these emails are keeping your information in there, not somebody else's. And then another thing I like to do is put my little signature thing on the bottom of it. And that's what I did to all of these messages already. And I had forgotten what I called it. 
So, okay, so I'm going to cancel, but you would save it and you'd fix those up. And like I said, there's already campaigns in here. You do not have to start from scratch. So this is PLS, new people on the list. So I'm going to go back in here, and I'm going to make sure I find that email, which is right here, PLS, new members. <laughs> and I don't know why it's not showing up in here because I made it some time ago. Or you can use any of the ones that are already with the power lead system. Uh, and, and those are plenty good enough to get started with if you want to. Uh, my PLS, where are you? Should be right here. PLS new member. Okay, so it's not it's not my it's PLS. So we want to make sure we're down at the PLS. And it's probably should be here. Oh, I'm in the wrong place. I'm looking at the Okay, we want to make sure we're on the emails. And then it's PLS. It's a good idea to name them so that you can find them. <laughs> As it's kind of obvious, it's hard to find them if you've got a lot of stuff in here. And it's supposed to be right here. New member is supposed to be right here. So just to make this quick, I do have one that I have created. My Simple Freedom which uh, is a good idea if you're going to get somebody going with that. And I can add on emails to that one by just using the ones that are already in place. And that one I do know I have. And it's my copy of. And that's one thing that helps you if you have my copy of something that is already in here. And then go ahead and save that to the your <coughs> your thing now. Now you have a completed funnel. And all you have to do is go and look at it. So now if I go ahead and email, <coughs> duck on it, put my own email in here. It's always a good idea to test too. <coughs> okay doesn't like my code. Six A C four. I think I put all letters in there. That's why I didn't recognize it. And it says I'm already just subscribed. But that does prove though that this that this particular thing works and we're good. <coughs> mm.